Hello, welcome to Runwood Gallon County. We have some big storms coming in to the U.S. But where? We will be there in just a few seconds. And plus, we have some winter weather mix going around, going around in the um the centrals of the ocean. Uh, so maybe flooding. Or maybe snow, and then just a wintry mix down here. Um, that's all it says. Uh, it says. Oh, what? It almost looks like a hurricane, like right there. So maybe it is, maybe it's not. So we'll be focused on this cell right here. And we'll see what this cell does over here. And so maybe the cell right here. This is some producing some Marty Hell. Hail Mary single warning. Let's see. On my fancy radar. Five days from May. Alright, let's see. Okay, let's see. Down here by. Okay, Jacksonville. Let's go to Jacksonville. Oh, there's a checks. Wellington. So by this area, by this Jackson, uh, by Jacksonville, North Carolina, has issued some warnings. Uh, North Carolina, here we have two thunderstorm warnings uh, that expires in the next 30 to 40 minutes, um, 25 to 40 minutes. Uh, if you live in the Emerald Isle, Jacksonville, and um, Wellington area, North Carolina, if you're in the way east of North Bern, let's see, Emerald Isle, Moorhead City, like somewhere around there, you are under some severe weather right here. Let's see, um, Emerald Isle, uh, Indian Beach. So if you're in this area, you are having some significant thunderstorm warnings along with uh, the forest. Here we have some wind cores here. Uh, thunderstorm wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. I think so. Uh, yes, it's a 60 miles per hour winds. And uh, let's see, actually. 50, they say 50 to 60 miles per hour winds by Jacksonville, North Carolina. And they say, um, they have uh, relayed a report to 50 to 60 miles per hour gust at the intersection of Highway 17 and the Western Boulevard in Jacksonville. Um, so, yes, if you just heard me say that, Highway, um, what did I say, Highway? That's it. There's a marine thunderstorm. Uh, it says uh, Highway 17. If we can find it, here we go. 17, right here. Highway 17 or Interstate and Interstate 17. Uh, you they have reported some serious damaging winds to about 50 to 60 miles per hour so as Jackson um, New River Marine uh, Corps Air and Station Airport over here um, and more airports around over here area so if you're in this area by Indian Beach Bro Creek over this is actually in the middle of this uh, beginning sound Bogu, I think I was gonna say that. 
uh, Sound Area, Bay Area by Emerald Isle, um, Indian Beach Area. Please, um, by the end, by the end of North Carolina area, the air station uh, is up there, and there's one over here. So yes, uh, there's actually one right here. There's one right here. Uh, so yes, we have spotted some some serious storms here. All right, let's see. Okay, they spotted some damaging winds to about, let's see, let me see, on my fancy radar, fancy radar, I mean WSV3, that's my radar I'm looking at. The remark is hit ham radio, if you don't know that is, it's, you know, North Carolina. Nor, uh, ham radio relayed, reported the branch is down at the intersection of Pinky Green Road and Country Club Road. Um, time based on the radar by, um, Emerald Isle. So, you're probably seeing branches down. I am so surprised what happened yesterday in Allen McKinney Plano area. We got some crazy rain. Um, if you lived in McKinney, Allen, Frisco, Plano area, all over here, this was insane. So my friends over here, so my friends, they came over with my parents as friends, and their, and my friends as well with the brothers, um. They got. They called me brothers, but I don't know. Um, we were just swimming in the pool. We heard loud thunder because water, like Lavon Lake, Louisville Lake, by and here and by Lake Ray Hubbard. It, it's crazy. It, and we figured out that lakes or water in pools can attract lightning. And lightning, uh, closer to the lightning, the louder the thunder is. So it count how you so if you see lightning, you count one, two, three, boom, three miles away. So yeah, let's try doing that. It's pretty fun. So this is a big lake. I've traveled across this lake before. Oh, what is this? Levon North Airport. Never heard of it. Hmm. So, because probably I haven't crossed up here yet. But I've been over here, this area, by McKinney Airport over here, and there's another one over here. But there's an Aero Country Airport up here. So. So, yeah, um, I don't know why I zoomed in, but I wanted to tell you that we have crazy rain. So, the winds came in strong, um, damaging leaves off my trees around my house area here in Allen. The la the thunder was loud because the lightning was close to us. <laughs> Whew, it was loud. Sometimes it sometimes scared me, but over here, um, let's get back to the other states over here. By over here, we have the storms going way back up here to um, New York and um, Philadelphia or Pennsylvania. Most of them are in Pennsylvania and Delaware area right now, in Maryland and Virginia right now. Uh, that's where the most are, and some big storms over here in Nashville. Mississippi, Alabama, Little Rock, and a teeny tiny bit in uh, Shreveport or Louisiana. Some spice showers over here in Texas. 
And we have this also, this big old storm over here. Okay, let's go on to the storm. <laughs> I'm just moving to different storms, thinking about ending the video. Focus, focus. It's not gonna focus. But you focus. Oh. Nope, no you don't. So, um, those are the only warnings on my fancy radar right now. They pop up. Um, if I see some more, uh, this is just the first weather report of today. So stay tuned. Oh, there's Hudson Bay. Alright, now let's see. Alright, good check. Oh wow, there's a big storm by Mexico. Alright, sorry, I'm trying to get my thing. Right, let's go back to the US. And that's all the th things I see right now. Uh, oh, okay, here, here, here. So, if you're on airline videos, there's some, um, so you saw that, um, uh, A train, uh, a train spotter, Highway 160, um, by Las Vegas, um, at Game Bird, is currently covered in water due to the heavy rain there. Uh, there's a person named Chip, uh, reported lots of rocks, debris, and standing water on. SR-127, just south of the Mont Dunes. So, if you were watching the airline videos, there were some planes that were delayed. Uh, or on hold due to the storm by Las Vegas and the desert area. So, uh, let me talk about the flights by Los Angeles. Yeah, that's why, because the storms, yeah, they're just going there or here. Causing some massive flooding. They all saying uh, this is a flash flood, flash flood, covered in water, highways, interstates. So, uh huh. So thank you so much for watching Runway Conlin County. Uh, as you can see, this is the storm I am talking about with some massive storms over here. So they're gonna go off to the area. See? Oh, one second. I did the wrong thing. Alright, let's go. Alright, thank you so much for watching Runway Conley County, I appreciate everyone watching, sorry for my audio to be really down earlier, um, because somehow my thing got muted somehow, not muted, but my audio had a problem, I was so mad, so... Uh, we are here at Dallas-Fort Worth, and thank you so much for watching. Let me go to satellite real quick. Again, I'm using ACC, um, ACCU weather. It's currently hundreds and triple digits. Which is crazy. 
really, really rare. Not rare. Feels like it's been forever. Oh, there we go. Look, see? Severe weather at Las Vegas records months worth of rain in less than two hours. See, it's flooded. We don't want that to happen in North Texas. So, in cause, in cause, just in case if we have, um, horrible things, um, here we got the warnings up here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Full screen. Alright, if you're up here in Canada, in my Edmonton, you're so issued a tornado warning over here Can't by Calgary. Calgary, you're under a heat warning. Or is wrong with you, Montana? Red flag warning due to the heat, probably. Um, here by Edmonton in this area in Canada area. If you're by um Silder Castor Castor, you're under a tornado warning until five fifty five PM uh uh Mountain Daylight Time. I think M stands for Mountain. Alexa, what does M D T stand for? I found two things that MDT can stand for. One, multi-drug therapy. Two, model-driven testing. Three, mountain daylight, savings, time. Yeah, I, I was right, because there's mountains in Canada. So, um, let me read this again. Can I go to this? But... Yes, this is all the severe weather. We got some storms about here in Los Angeles. Um, actually, not Los Angeles, Las Vegas. So, thank you so much for watching One Way Call in County. I appreciate everyone watching. We'll see y'all next time. Goodbye. We're under no warnings.